Hey, Young Sound Click. I am here in Austin Town on Mahoning Avenue at this cool little garage, the Little Black Cat um, Collective. It's a pet food pantry for people who need some temporary help feeding their pets. And this lady who started it is so kind. I have watched people come one after another and she knows their pets by name. Um, she knows exactly like their needs and she just, it's, it's amazing to watch um, because anybody who has pets knows that sometimes it could get expensive. And if you fall on a little bit of a hard week or times, um, it can be it can be challenging. So so what she has done is she's she's created a temporary um, help. So it's like a synth, six month help. Uh, but I'm going to let her explain it a little bit to you. That way, if any you or anybody you know uh, could use this assistance, you know exactly how to connect to her. Um, so I'm going to turn this around and introduce you to Laura. All right, hi Laura. Hi, Debbie. How are you? <laughs> good, good. This is so amazing to watch. Just how much you, you love these people and their animals, and um, they bring their animals in to show you. It's so beautiful. I love it when they bring the animals to visit. Yeah, <laughs> that makes it a, a lot of fun. Right, I'm sure. So you are the founder of this Little Black Cat, Cat Collective. Yes, I'm the founder of the Little Black Cat Collective, and I started this pantry going on three years ago. We okay. are a non profit 501c3 okay we run strictly on donations and fundraisers we don't receive any money or grants um, from wow. from outside of what we raise okay um, and so what I do is people will apply for temporary and supplemental food assistance when yeah. they come upon hard times and I try to meet their needs and help them along till they can get back up on their feet. And that usually ranges from three to six months. Wow. Um, in addition, we also promote um, spay and neuter and good veterinary care. So we actually will, um, you know, give them resources of who to reach out to that are low cost, that are, you know, willing to help them yeah. with their animals because the spay and neuter and pet overpopulation is just so important. Um, we really need to um, reduce the pet population and, you know, take care of the animals that are here right now. And if us helping the animals with their food um, for a few months helps the people get back on their feet and they're not faced with having to relinquish their pets to yeah. an animal shelter, that's just the icing on the cake because the, pan, uh, the, excuse me, the shelters and rescues are completely overflowing yeah. and overwhelmed. And so we this is our little way that we can help them as well right that's so great and you um also are a vet tech right yes i'm a registered veterinary technician so a lot of times the people will reach out to me and ask me questions about their Aww. pet and i will guide them accordingly and help them you know make good decisions <laughs> on on you know what to do and you know what's what's urgent and what's not that's amazing <laughs> okay so real quick tell people how they can reach out to you how do they if how do they come across an application um if they find themselves in a position where they might need some temporary um, assistance sure um, so there's a couple ways. Um, we do have a Facebook page, the Little Black Cat Collective. Okay. Pet Food Pantry is the name of our Facebook page. So that's probably the easiest way. They can just message me on there and I will mail them an application. But we also have a, web, a website, the Little Black Cat Collective .org. Okay. Um, we have a phone number that they can text or call. Oh, nice. 330 okay. 732 5053. Okay. And then they can call or text and, and let us know that they, they need help. And I will mail an application and they do have to fill out the application and mail it back in in order to get registered before they start receiving assistance. Yeah, I love how systemized you are. I mean, people come in and you already have a pile because you know their yes. needs based on, on who they are and what they, they're, I mean, it, it's yes. really cool to watch. So Thank great you. job on what you're doing for Thank the community, you. for the pets. It's beautiful because we don't want to see any pets going hungry or starving no. or walking around you know super skinny um but you are also having a fundraiser coming up right yes okay so tell us about, about that. that yes okay i just wanted to mention that our, okay. our motto is no one goes hungry on our watch I so and the, the pantry was named in memory of my cat lila she's the little black cat but in addition to cats, we also serve dogs and small herbivores, meaning like guinea pigs, rabbits, ferrets. If people have those sweet little wee ones and need some yes. help, we're glad to help with them as well. Um, so our fundraiser 
Um, first of all, I have an amazing fundraiser coordinator. She is just doing an amazing job. She's working so hard. Yeah. Her name is Krista Milford. Yeah. And she's a good friend. And she's put together an amazing event next week for us. Okay. It's on Saturday, July 27th. Okay. At Penguin City Brewery. Okay. We are actually pairing with Every Dog Matters Rescue. Aww. And we are having a battle of the bands, and we are having four bands compete against each other okay. for a cash prize, which wow. is, which um, sponsors have provided for us. Wow! And in addition to the bands, we are having um, vendors there, okay, selling their homemade items. Mm -hmm. We're having a food truck, and we're having a basket raffle. And I'm so excited about this. We're having brand new little black cat merch dropped we're oh we're hitting the fall and we've got some cool halloween stuff coming up oh, okay so oh I, I bet you have fun with that with the yeah, little black cat okay absolutely so we've got some great new merch coming up yeah um next weekend and the doors open at 4 30 the band okay. started 5 30 admission is ten dollars okay and the admission fee gets split between the little black cat collective and every dog matters rescue. oh that's great okay and then every person who gets the vote for the band that they like best is that how that works you know that part i'm not 100 percent sure they we actually i think we have judges that are taking oh, care of that, that got are, it okay that are actually professional oh, in the music industry that nice. are doing, doing the judging. so you get to yeah i love that so you, you get to see these bands really perform it yes. for the for the prize i love that because they'll be yes. given their best right i love it and i it's love kind it. of a combination of like indie pop and okay. rock some really original stuff. The bands are all up and coming and we're really excited um, to see them all. That is so beautiful. Well, thank you so much for what you do again for our community and for Youngstown Click because I know that there's pe probably people in Youngstown Click that um, can use so so much use the assistance and help right now so well, we'd be glad to help and we're also very glad for anybody who's interested in donating yes. to help us keep doing what we're doing and meet so our beautiful. mission and especially business owners you know sometimes right. business owners if you own stores or something like that um there's a certain best buy dates and sale by dates or something might get cut open and you can't sell it you have to tape it back up do you do we you? usually don't accept open bags okay. just for the okay. safety and well-being of the animals. Got it. Okay. But food donations are always welcome. Okay. We're primarily a Purina pet food pantry. We're okay. for the cats and the dogs, and we also do pedigree. That's a, we try to stick to a um, kind of a, a small a ma small yeah. area of food that we so the animals are used to it and they are. Oh, the that same makes month sense. After month to keep them, you know, feeling good and getting the same so food. So thought out. So but, <laughs> I love it. No, but um, but we gladly accept anything. It's you okay. know, if you have another bag, a different brand, that's okay. We accept yeah. it. We're happy to accept um, cash donations. I can write you. We're tax exempt. I can write receipts for Beautiful. anybody that wants to make cash donations. Okay. We take donations of gift cards to Target. Amazon or the pet stores and then whatever I'm lacking mm -hmm. at the end of the month right before the pantry I can take the the money and the gift cards and go purchase That's what beautiful. we need Beautiful. So, yeah, I, I hit up Target last night and uh, needed help out to the car. So, oh, that's hilarious. So we loaded up the cart and brought lots of goodies for the animals today. That's beautiful. Well, like I said, guys, I have seen the people come in and how thankful they are for the help. Um, so, yeah, definitely a worthwhile cause to come out and support um, and go down to the Battle of the Bands. Yes, That'll be please fun. come to the Battle so. of the Bands. <laughs> look forward to meeting you. Come up, say hi, introduce yourself. And uh, we hope we hope to see a lot of faces there. Thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate it. Thank you, Debbie, for and, coming out today. Thank you. All right, guys. So you heard it. Now you know, Little Garage right here on Mahoning Avenue, Little Black Cat Pantry or uh, Collective and Food Pantry. And um, like I said, you never know th what people need across town might be something that you have extra. So they take donations um, of both kinds of, of dog food, cat food, and, and actually money. So, all right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.